and have that interface instantaneously with all your environmental conditions and give you really good sound ballistic drop data is pretty darn valuable. SIG Sauer Kilo 2400 ABS. This is kind of a different unit than what they've been coming out with in the past. This is a standalone type unit. Uh, of course, it's a laser rangefinder, and that was the first thing we played with yesterday, and it works very well. Uh, this is a big step up from even the 2200. Uh, it's a lot more effective, just nonchalantly trying to range stuff at 1400, 1500 meters, trees, bushes, no problem. And so it's so far working pretty good just in terms of a laser by itself. This also has the applied ballistic software built into it. Some of the other models that came out a little bit earlier also have that. Uh, so it'll give you your ballistic drop that you need to uh, dial in for your optic or that you need to hold over. And uh, so it's a unit that has a lot of that in there. Uh, some of the older units would Bluetooth with like a Kestrel or some kind of other weather monitoring equipment. This critter has all that stuff built into it. So this is a standalone unit. This has a barometer, this knows what the humidity is, this has a thermometer, knows what temperature it is, and everything, once you get it uh, synchronized with your uh, ballistic software app that you put on like a mobile device, and then you synchronize with it, it's also, it's a standalone unit. You don't even need to have uh, the phone or phone service with this deal in order to run it pretty effectively. And uh, I was playing with it today, again, comparing it against some of, uh, some of my observed drop data that I have for my 338 Lapua that I've confirmed over the years and know exactly what it's doing. And uh, I gotta say, this is pretty darn slick. Uh, the way it basically works is once you get this thing programmed, which is a little bit of a process if you're uh, a dinosaur, <laughs> If you're tech savvy at all, this would be very easy to do. I was able to do it all by myself without asking for anyone's help in a matter of less than a half hour, okay? That's pretty darn good. If I can navigate through this goofy computer thing with the phone on there, uh, anyone should be able to do it, okay? Uh, I lost my plasticity for learning new technology a couple years ago. And uh, so I like interfaces that are very, very simple and easy to run. And I know a lot of other guys like that as well. Uh, all that being said, once you get this thing synchronized uh, with the ballistics of your rifle that you enter into your mobile device here uh, on the app, it downloads all that information into here. Now it's a standalone device with that information in here. And once you, uh, there's only two buttons. There's the range button on top and the mode button on the side. And the instructions have a nice flow chart directing you exactly where you need to go in terms of uh, where it takes you in the little display in here. But when you go into the mode where this thing integrates all the data from your uh, ballistic software, it's pretty easy to run. You simply point it at the target, you uh, range it, it'll give you the range in the display, and then it'll pan over to your firing solution. Done. 
You don't need to have a whole bunch of different devices all linked to each other, trying to get the, the Bluetooth to get along, all that kind of stuff. It's a completely self-contained unit in here. And uh, it's kind of neat. You can also integrate it in with your mobile device. And so you can have like a bigger display readout. You can make adjustments on here. It's actually pretty cool how they have it set up. Um, a lot of the earlier devices that have been coming out, you know, a couple of years ago didn't take into account, for example, muzzle velocity variation, temperature sensitivity with ammunition. And uh, this has a setup just for that. I was able to plug in all the variables that I'm concerned with, with my experience into this little deal here. And it's pretty cool. Now this uh, came packaged pretty nicely. Uh, the SIG does a good job with their packaging. They uh, have a nice deal there. We have the uh, little case for it. But it came in a nice little molly bag deal, okay? And it has a kit with it. It has not only the rangefinder, it did not come with this little tripod deal. This is a tripod that I've had for a long time. Uh, but it has a tripod adapter. It just slides in via friction. This is aluminum. It's built pretty nice and it just fits in here perfectly like this. Just slides right on. And then the rubber grabs it. And then you screw it in your tripod on the bottom. And I just got a little tiny guy like this. Very, very easy to carry around then. And uh, you can get very, very steady. It's important to get steady as you can with the laser rangefinder when you're when you're doing your, your distancing. You can watch the tutorial series for more of the details on what a guy wrestles with when he's doing that. But also inside this kit here, and we're not completely done playing with this yet. Uh, we're gonna play with it quite a bit. It came with a stylus, they call this deal. And it's a little pen, and I think it's made by Boker. It's actually a pretty cool little unit. And then we also have, this is pretty interesting, a little anemometer that plugs in and I was trying to figure out without reading the instructions when I was first playing with all this stuff. What, where does this plug in? I was thinking it was going to plug into the rangefinder, but it has a little jack on there for your mobile device. So you can take your little, uh, the jack on your phone and just plug it in there. Now you have a anemometer if you need to get an exact quantified wind speed at the firing position or wherever you're at. And then uh, it's kind of a nice little added feature. And we talk about um, how dynamic the wind is in our reviews and on, on the seminar as well. It's more challenging than just getting your, your wind speed at your location, but that gives you some place to start so you can start keeping track. A lot of these rangefinders, when they advertise a distance they're effective to, you can effectively cut that number in half, and that's about as good as it's going to do, you know, reliably. Uh, we took this out yesterday and we're poking around shooting across uh, the lake and uh, with the laser and trying to drain stuff and we're ranging stuff out to a mile with this thing and uh, trying to film it through the little reticle using the phone is a little bit of a tedious process, a little shaky, uh, but basically we're shooting this thing at, uh, it is very, very, very easy to pick up any kind of building out to 1500, 1600, 1700 yards, uh, no problem range in any kind of like solid hillside you can still get those kind of distances well over 1400 meters we're ranging trees at like 14 and 1500 meters uh, metal targets can go out even quite a bit farther than that so um, they're finally getting the technology squared away in terms of these lasers uh, to where the beam culmination is done effectively and with the technology they have in here which uh, has a high speed scanning mode so when you hold down on the top of here if you really need to get a, 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 like if you're shooting at a very far target, it'll uh, do a super high speed scan of that and the computer will interpret what's going on with that beam and give you a more reliable ranging capability with this. And it actually works pretty darn good, to be honest with you. Um, I was surprised that we're just, I didn't have any trouble ranging stuff out to 1400 yards. When I got to 1400, if you weren't steady at something, you had to kind of steady down a little bit. Once we get this thing mounted on this tripod here and take it out there, I'm confident we're going to be able to go out plenty far. This is actually one of the laser rangefinders. It's probably going to be effective out to the max range of your cartridge for most rifles, unless you're doing some really intense ELR type stuff. And even then, you might actually get some good stuff. As you guys know, if you look at the major inputs that you're talking about when you're calculating fire solutions for long range shooting, the most important thing to get exactly right when you get way far out there is the distance to the target. 
especially when you're way out there. If you're like at 1,200, 1,400, 1,600 yards, and you get your distance wrong by just a couple yards, that's going to throw you off pretty bad in terms of your ballistic drop being accurate. Uh, so having that built into here is pretty cool because it does a real-time instantaneous assessment of what your drop is going to be. And it ha means that it has all the environmental uh, instruments in here. It's going to give you a very precise hold off. And from what I could tell so far is that with all the environmentals being balanced out of here, when I was shooting at these targets with the laser, it's matching my observed drop data for my 338 just from typing in the inputs. You also need to take into account the bore conditions and your velocity trends as your rifle bore changes with different amounts of rounds fired. So I'm going to come down uh, seven clicks. <laughs> Let's talk about setup of the device. Uh, first off, you got to get your mobile device. Uh, this is good with either uh, Android or an iOS, which is the Apple units, right? And you start off by going into the store and downloading the App Store, right? And downloading the uh, program. It's I think it's called Kilo 2400 ABS, and that's free. You just download it. It only took a few seconds, and we had it on the phone. I started entering some of the inputs in on here for uh, rifle selection and uh, I started building my first rig, you know, labeling it and stuff like that. But I was having a hard time synchronizing everything to the unit. And I realized that, and this is probably pretty basic information for a techie, but you just got to shut it down after you install one of them new deals and then turn it back on and then it instantaneously uh, recognized the rangefinder. Uh, with Bluetooth, when the rangefinder, you turn it on, boom, it pops right up and then it just instantly links. So you didn't have to type in any kind of weird codes or anything like that to get it to work. It was actually pretty easy, even for a dinosaur to get to work after I figured out that little trick. <laughs> and so what you do is you go into the device, let's open it up here, and you'll have a, a heads up display like this, very similar to this, and you're gonna have a few different choices. You're gonna have HUD, gun profiles, environment and target okay and so the HUD is the heads-up display you know like in fighter jets right I don't know if that's what they got to stand for um, let's turn this on I'm gonna turn on the range finder so it wakes up okay it woke up here uh, and we're just sitting in the house right now so it's not a long-range firing solution but you can see the environmentals are on the bottom and it's got density altitude temperature um, barometric pressure all that stuff is listed in here so if you want to use this as a weather machine that's linked to your phone you just turn you just simply turn this on by hitting the range button to take a distance on something and then if your phone's on on the app it brings it right up on that page pretty darn slick uh, let's back up here if you look at gun profiles i'm going into the gun profiles deal they'll have a, a deal selected there that's my surgeon remedy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on there and you can enter in all your information you start off you have a, a bullet data library. One of the nice things about working with applied ballistics is Brian Litz and some of those guys have compiled an incredible database of all the information you need. So you can go into the bullet data library, pick your exact bullet by brand. They have pretty much anything you're gonna be using in there. You know, type in your bullet diameter, bullet weight, uh, your bullet length, that's important for calculating spin drift, right? You have an option with your BC to either use a G7 or G1. I typed in the G7. And uh, when, the second I adjusted it with the bullet library, it corrected everything um, for what Applied Ballistics uh, has in their database. And then with the firearm information, I gave them my muzzle velocity, my zero range, uh, sight height, zero height, twist rate, etc. And then one of the cool features I thought was pretty darn smart was they have a muzzle velocity temperature table going high to low. And you can custom modulate these fields any way you want. I started, I wanted to cover all the, the, the temperature ranges from 100 degrees to zero degrees because that's what I've observed. And that's what I've logged tediously over the years with the 338 Lapua with my loads. And so I typed in my uh, information I, from 100 degrees to zero degrees, my observed muzzle velocity data. So the better the data you enter into this particular part of the interface, the better off it's going to be to interpret your muzzle velocity variation due to uh, ammo temperature. That's something that is often overlooked in some of the uh, ballistic applications and so I thought that was pretty darn smart and then of course you have the environmental mode and you can hit that button and uh, it'll give you kind of a it'll give you your temperature your pressure your humidity uh, your wind direction uh, a very good set up pretty intuitively 
And then of course your target data, you can type in the heading of your target, the inclination, your latitude. Anyone know what the latitude is important for? That will be for your Coriolis effect, okay? That's uh, particularly your lateral Coriolis effects. And your target speed and uh, your target direction, what direction is going. So it's a pretty cool app. Once you get all your information in here and you save it, you simply uh, go through the instructions and there's a synchronized button to download that stuff into this deal. Once it's in here, like I said before, you can just throw this thing into the river or get rid of it or leave it in the truck or whatever you gotta do. And you have a standalone unit with all the information that came off of here programmed into here. That's a pretty good feature. I would hate for this thing to be dependent on my cell phone to work, okay? Uh, so once you have it in here, it's a standalone unit. Now this is not a replacement for a set of analog data. That's something you still want to log very carefully. You want to always have your stuff written down, typed out, or printed out in some kind of a, a layout, a table, right? That you have attached to the weapon or in hand or in your pocket, but as something that's going to be very, very quick on the fly, uh, this is a really cool piece of kit. And uh, the idea that you don't have to have all these other deals Bluetooth to each other, uh, it gets a little bit complicated, in my opinion. It is kind of nice to have a standalone unit in terms of simplicity, uh, field expediency for sure. Um, and you're always going to want to carry spare batteries with you. A lot of times the performance of the laser of these machines will be contingent on the battery life. Okay, And so these run on a CR123 uh, style battery. And the kit actually did come with three batteries. So that was nice. They shipped it uh, with three brand new fresh batteries here. And they were Duracells. And so that was pretty cool, man. I'm excited to take this out and actually get some better footage of it for you guys. I got to play with it for the last two days. And uh, so far it's generating very, very valid drop data. Uh, it's uh, quite a little nice little unit. Uh, like I said before, just getting an accurate range to the target, especially when you go over a thousand yards, becomes vitally important. And to have that interfaced instantaneously with all your environmental conditions and give you really good sound ballistic drop data is pretty darn valuable, in my opinion. So, do stay tuned for us using this quite a bit. I intend to take it out there and fully uh, use it. I'm going to enter a couple uh, other rifles in here. I think you can enter up to four different setups in into the uh, device here. And, and uh, you can select back and forth. I'll probably put one of the 6.5s on there, or 308, and uh, we'll, see. we'll see how it runs. All right. Stay tuned for more information on that product as we test it in the future. And we can't wait to share what we observe with you guys. Hey guys, Rex here. Thanks for watching the video. It was awesome to have you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter for whenever YouTube cracks down on us. The newsletter can be found at www.rexreviews.org. Subscribe to that newsletter. You'll get updates on any kind of cool stuff, wherever the rendezvous is going to be when the Russians come invade the place like on the movie Red Dawn, and all kinds of other fun details like the latest podcast episodes and latest reviews. Do make sure to check out our podcast show. We got lots of hours of incredible content where we're actually allowed to be honest with how we feel about things. We're highly edited on this very highly politicized platform now that YouTube has become. So on our podcast show, we get pretty Western, we have a lot of fun, and we really tell you a lot more detail about our true opinion on the way the world goes. We also talk about all kinds of questions and answers related to long range shooting, tactical stuff in general, survival, prepping, uh, scenarios, what if scenarios, all kinds of fun stuff. The podcast is one of the funnest projects we've ever done. Do make sure to check that out. We give you little tiny excerpts here on this YouTube channel, but for the entire full-length shows, which are usually a good two, three, four hours of incredible content, you're going to want to go to rexreviews.org to find the podcast shows. They're available on SoundCloud and iTunes. If you're looking for some Tier 1 rifle training, please visit rexdefense.com. That's our training hub that will show you our currently scheduled events. If you do want to see us while we're still doing this, uh, go check that out. And we would love to come see you in person, hang out, and get you squared away on the precision rifle.